Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss a small example that is row wise and column wise sum in an array. So, in our previous classes, we clearly discussed about two dimensional arrays and how to access the elements that present in the array. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's example, so we are going to use the different ways to access the elements that present in an array. In many of the coding examples, if you understand the different ways to access the elements, these are the things which we are going to use in many of the coding examples. That's why with simple example, we are going to understand one more way to access the elements in, the, in our array. Now coming to this example, so what's the output we need to take? Uh, this is a two dimensional array. This is having three rows and four columns. We need to find the row by sum. Means take the first line, sum all the elements. Take the second line, sum all the elements. Take the third line, sum all the elements. First line summation is equal to 10. Second line summation is equal to 26. Similarly, third line. Similarly, first column. Take the first column and sum all the elements. Take the second column, third column, fourth column like that. We need to display summation of all the lines and summation of all the columns. So the logic here, the logic here, this, these are the graphical vi visualization you should have in your mind before you write the code so that uh, this helps a lot in understanding the programming. See, take the first line, means 0th line. Take the 0th column, first column, second column, third column. You fix it, fix the first line and take all the columns. Similarly, take the second line, take all the columns. Third line, take all the columns. This is how we have to take. And so, uh, next thing we need to do, take the first column, take all the lines. Take the second column. Take all the lines, third column, all the lines, fourth column, all the lines. Take these elements and do the summation. This is what we need to do. Now coming to the coding part, we will understand step by step how we are going to write this example. So this is the array initialization, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the elements. First we are going to take the, in order to access the elements, we, are, we need a nested loop, loop within the loop. Uh, here we are taking for i is equal to 0, i less than 3, i plus plus. Here i is pointing to line numbers, index of the lines. If i is equal to 0, it is pointing to 0th line. When it goes inside the loop, uh, we are taking a variable called sum. Initially, we are making it as 0. And for in, inside this ith loop, we are taking jth loop. j is equal to 0, j less than 4, j plus plus. Means j is pointing the column indexes. For i is equal to 0, j execute for 4 times. So we are going to take all the elements of the first line. For i is equal to 1, j execute for 4 times. We are taking all the elements of the second line. For i is equal to 2, j execute for 4 times. Take all the elements of the third line. That is what we are going to do here. One more important point you need to understand. For i is equal to 0, j, take, take all the elements a of i, j and sum, do the sum. After coming out of this inner loop, we need to display the sum. i plus 1th line sum is sum value. Again, for i is equal to 0, take all the elements of the first line, summation it and display it. Again, for i is equal to 1, again make sum is equal to 0 because we need to start the summation from the beginning for the second line. That's why sum is equal to 0 execute every time you go inside the i ith loop. So, this nested loop, loop within the loop is going to help us to identify all the elements in line wise. Similarly, we need to write one more loop, nested loop, loop within the loop. Here i is equal to 0, i less than 4, i plus plus. Here i is pointing to columns. Take the first i is equal to means 0 means 0th column. Now j is pointing to all the rows, lines, line numbers. j is equal to 0, j less than 3, j plus plus. So i pointing to number of columns, j pointing to number of lines. That's why here a of j i, not i j. Remaining logic is simple, similar, whatever we have done above, the same logic. This is how we are going to take the 
summation of all the line elements and summation of all the column elements and we are going to display it. Hope you understand this example. This is how we need to access different ways to access the elements present in our multi-dimensional arrays or two-dimensional arrays or three-dimensional arrays. We need to do different examples later on, but this is the basic example for better understanding. Sometimes they are going to ask the take the elements in the circular form. Sometimes they are going to ask you take the elements in diagonal form. All these things you should be aware of. Hope you understand this example. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.